God bless you. Dave here. Allow me to tell you about the calling God has on your life. First, be focused on what God tells you. It is easy to become distracted in your Christian walk with the Lord. The moment you understand what God wants you to do, distractions and interruptions will be around you. It will seem as though everyone around you requires your time and attention. When you spend more time with the Lord, the volume of distraction and interruptions increases. Yes, it does. When the time came for Jesus to go to the cross, he set his face towards Jerusalem so that nothing would prevent him from accomplishing his father's will. Attempts to distract Jesus were evident in the Bible, but his resolve was to stay focused. Jesus was determined not to digress from his, pe from his mission, but he took time to minister to many people along the way. Jesus knew that there was a destination, but more importantly, a journey. That journey Jesus had was a calling from God and ordained by God. It was an anointing. Jesus wasn't alone in that journey, called by God. He did it with disciples at his side. Jesus taught the disciples to be motivated, organized, and disciplined to what God had ordained. You see, Jesus sent out disciples into the surrounding towns. We see that in Luke chapter 10, verse 1. He healed men who had leprosy. We see that in Luke chapter 17, verse 11 through 19. Jesus cured a man suffering from abnormal swelling of his body. We see that in Luke chapter 14, verse 1 through 4. He brought salvation to the home of a tax collector. We see that in Luke chapter 19, verse 1 through 10. Jesus continued to teach his disciples. We see that in Luke chapter 15, verse 1 through 32. Understand this. Jesus did not refuse to minister to others as he went to Calvary, but ultimately he refused to be deterred from his father's will. He had a purpose. Jesus knew that his time on earth was limited and a mission had to be completed in full before his time to return home to his father. If you know what God wants you to do, set your sights resolutely, totally toward that goal with full determination to accomplish it. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 25 says, let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Your result to go where God is leading you ought to be evident to those around you. Don't let others distract you. Don't let others prevent you from going where God is leading you. Be aware of becoming so sidetracked by opportunities around you that you lose sight of God's ultimate goal for you. Be aware if that happens. Do not succumb to the temptation to delay your obedience or to discard it altogether. Once you have received a clear assignment from God, your response should be of obedience. Listen to God's whispers. Meditate on the meaning. Pray and fast to hear more answers to your questions to God. Be steadfast in your calling. Be strong against distractions and interruptions. Let God lead the way with his light. Stay out of the darkness that is not of God. Enjoy the journey that God has given you. Know that journey is a greater blessing given to you more than anything man can give you on earth. Rejoice in the celebration of God's mercy on you and the blessings God has given you. I pray that you open your heart and are ready to receive a greater anointing in God's plan in your life. May you be blessed. Amen.